I like to add this and this anytime I submit online forums because I know that some developer is going to see it and wonder if they have a bug. Aaron, you are a bastard. Bastard incarnate, would you look at that? Satan already! True story, I'm flying right now, but through Wi-Fi and an app on my phone, I'm honking the horn on my car back home to annoy my family. The future is now. Nah, no, I'm with this guy. I got banned from Cheat Code Central when I was a kid for posting elaborate time-wasting fake cheats for various games I never played. <laughs> Oh, I, I think I'm going to love these people. My mom grounded me, so I catfished her for six months and broke her heart. God damn it! One time I asked a rival dad, who I knew didn't own a torque wrench, if I could borrow his torque wrench in front of a group of people. <laughs> if you're bored on Valentine's Day, just go up to random couples in restaurants and yell, Who the hell is she? Laughs and Sith Lord. The advanced version is when you bring some kids with you. This random number texted me accidentally and I couldn't help myself. When you get home and get the baby uh, settled, call me. I thought you had the baby. <laughs> oh no, you gave them a heart attack. After finishing a 90 kilometer ultra marathon, runners have to leave the stadium using these stairs. Nice. I love Call of Duty Modern Warfare crossplay. I said Xbox turn off and turned off some poor kid's Xbox mid game. <laughs> Have you heard of the Harvard MIT pigeon prank? An MIT student dressed in a black and white striped shirt went to the Harvard football stadium every day of one summer, blowing a whistle while scattering breadcrumbs or birdseed to coax neighborhood pigeons down onto the field. At Harvard's opening game of the season, upon the referee's first whistle, it said that hundreds of pigeons descended onto the field, causing a half-hour delay. Brilliant. Truly brilliant. Spending my valentines outside a nice restaurant shouting, Well, you moved on pretty quickly to random couples walking in. <laughs> I feel slightly ill. Hmm. Boy, do I hate you. Pull. <laughs> how? That's the evilest thing I can imagine. My mom's laptop wallpaper was a picture of her granddaughter. I copied the picture a hundred times and made her wallpaper a slideshow of the same picture over and over and over again so the file would change, but nothing would change visibly on the monitor. The pictures would change every 10 seconds. On one of the images, I painted a little curly mustache on her, so randomly for 10 seconds my niece would have a mustache. My mom thought she was either losing her mind or had a computer virus, and every time the mustache popped up, it was gone by the time she tried to show anyone. <laughs> Man, that's like advanced type of gaslighting right there. I came into the office early and switched as many M and N keys on the keyboard as I could. Some might say I'm a monster, but others would say I'm a nomster. <laughs> I want to record an audiobook that's eight hours of breathing and page turning, then just, oh, you mean out loud, right at the end. Ibophobia. Ibophobia. The irrational fear of palindromes. Words that... <gasps> I finally found the bottom wrought corner of the Excel sheet. Oh my god. Pro tip, change the font color to white, put a zero in that box, and if someone tries to print out the page, it will eat a ream of paper. Always carry zip ties so you can f with people who park like assholes. When you realize you can make memes about colorblind people they won't see, you son of a bitch. In line at McDonald's, little kid behind me screaming he wants an apple pie at his mother. I get to the counter. I'll have a number three, large, and excuse me, how many apple pies do you have back there? Twelve? I'll take them all. That happened. I made life-size AirPod stickers and stuck them on the ground all over the city. I mean, I understand the funniness of a prank like this, but, uh, thanks for littering? The downstairs neighbor just installed a stripper pole. Hook a car battery to it. There was a little boy in line with his mom. She went to get something at the last second. He begged me to slow down. I scanned his items as fast as possible. When I was done, I asked him to pay, and he started crying. Climate protesters glue themselves to Porsche Museum but need to go potty. Staff simply left, turning off heat and lights rather than calling the police. What's the purpose of protesting a Porsche Museum? I'm just, I'm a little confused about the motives. Power move. Next time you go to the airport, bring a bottle of shampoo, but it's filled with yogurt. When they tell you that liquids aren't allowed, drink it. When I'm bored, I come to Walmart and put these on people's car windows. Call me, I'm pregnant. Ooh. One thing kids like is to be tricked. For instance, I was gonna take my little nephew to Disneyland, but instead I drove him to an old burned out warehouse. Oh no, I said, Disneyland burned down. He cried and cried, but I think that deep down he thought it was a pretty good joke. I started to drive over to the real Disneyland, but it was getting pretty late. If you could telepathically say something that all 7.8 billion people on Earth could hear at once, what would it be? You picked the correct religion. I am real. This is the proof you've been asking for. Oh yeah, the world would blow up. When I'm a doctor doing a surgery right before the person goes out under the anesthesia, I'm going to say, okay, pull up the WikiHow article. Are you Satan? Nah, they're lying. Me. Good night, kids. 
kids. Good night, Dad. Me. Good night, monster that eats children who are bad. Good night. I did something similar to Zack once. We had a couple of walkie-talkies in the house, so I turned both of them on, like the pair that I had, put one under his bed, and just made freaky noises. In eighth grade, I had a teacher who, if he caught you reading, would take your book away, read the ending, then threaten to tell you the ending if he caught you reading it again. Wow, can you imagine that? Punishing someone for reading. Look, I know that you're supposed to be paying attention, but can you imagine doing that? Because they were reading a book? Jesus Christ, just tell them to stop reading the f book. I'm at a Walmart parking lot watching a woman who can't remember where she parked. Every time she holds her remote in the air, I honk my horn. <laughs> I grounded my kid, and this was his response. <laughs> oh, sh Got no kids? Hire a babysitter anyway. Say your kid's asleep upstairs and must not be disturbed. Then upon your return, ask where your child is. Oh, f not funny. A daycare dad cut me off in the parking lot. So I went early yesterday and taught his kid how to ride a bike. You can never get that back. Damn straight. My teacher left the room during a test, so we all started sharing answers. Then I look up and she was staring right at me. What the f hell, dude? Oh my god. Tell me your deepest, darkest desire. Stealing your last three chicky nuggies and watching beautiful agony roll down your sorrowful features. One nuggy bite at a time. Daughter doesn't want it. Freaks her out. I want to get my money back. Best offer. I'll give you a hundred dollars to tell her it's sold. Hide it in the attic for two weeks. Take it out and put it back in her room while she's sleeping. That's enough to give someone a legit heart palpitation, man. I mean, you gotta chill. Hold on, I'm thirsty. <sighs> Fun fact. Crows can talk just like parrots do. It requires a process called freeing their tongue. Don't ask. But yes, I want to train a flock of them to- It's a murder. It's called a murder. But yes, I want to train a murder of them to say, run and release them onto a hiking trail. I want to ask, how many nightmares do you want to give people? To all of them. Caution, this contains rubber balls and gumballs. Kids bop Russian roulette. How to make a character's death sadder. Okay, let's see. Don't have them die of old age after a long, fulfilling life. Many people don't even think of this as sad. No, this can still work if you have enough of the other factors. Leave one of their major goals unfinished. The more enthusiastic they are about completing the goal, the sadder. Give them strong relationships with other characters. Make them fight against whatever's causing their death. Their ultimate loss is sadder if they struggle. Kill them in the middle of their character arc. Don't describe their funeral in detail. Maybe it's just me, but I find that long descriptions of funerals kill the sadness. Man, I don't want to read your book. I had all this ground meat and I made a meat baby. Now no one wants to eat and all the kids won't stop screaming. All the kids? I want to make an infomercial where it's not clear what the guy's selling. Like he's demonstrating how powerful his vacuum is by sucking up a bowling ball, but then he starts showing you how strong the bowling ball is by dropping it on some knives. But then he's showing how the knives haven't been damaged at all by using them to cut through some shoes, and it goes on and on and on for two hours, and then just loops back to the start, while a number of flashes on the screen the whole time. Or while a number of flashes on screen the whole time. And if you call it, it just echoes whatever you say back to you. I would be down to help pay for this trick. Seriously. Damn it. The secret of happiness is- Oh, son of a bitch! As if the place isn't terrifying enough. Oh boy. Ugh. The passer through walls sculpture in the Paris catacombs. Some French guy. You know what would be f***ed up to see in the catacombs? So my daughter just bought a house that was built in the late 1800s. We found this and she threw it out. I got it out of the trash. Let the games begin. Tomorrow's lunch. The eighth deadly sin. It is an insult to God. What the hell am I looking at? Be naked at my sister's wedding. My sister's having an outdoor wedding in New Canaan... New Canaan Court? In May? I want someone to be naked in the woods and to run through the wedding in order to ruin it. <laughs> I will protect you from my family. Naked in the woods. That looks like Manhattan. What, what, what woods in Manhattan? You mean like in Central Park? Because that also doesn't look like Central Park. I don't know. I'm not a New Yorker. I don't care. You know how pantry shelves are a certain size? What if we make our family size boxes just a little bigger than that? Serial executive. First of all, I love it. Oh no. I think I've seen this one. So, you want hair extensions? Yes, I want to surprise my husband. Super! What do you think? Oh, fantastic. Honey, I'm back! Nap time. Perfect. Babe. Babe, wake up. Oh god, you're finally awake, babe. You've been asleep for two years! Mean. Get tuna and put it in hard-to-reach places in his room, like in his curtain rods. When it starts to go bad, he'll never know where the smell's coming from, and he won't be able to get rid of it. Then buy him a diffuser and grind pollen in it so he's always sick and itchy. What the f***? If you had to design a harmless but annoying virus, what would it do? 
You have a strong urge to sneeze, but can't actually sneeze. That is torture. Ketchup. Oh yes, I was looking for a soap dispenser labeled ketchup with a picture of grapes. I really want this bottle in my bathroom. I place it next to matching decorative soaps and towels, as if it seems like it fits. But I'll actually fill the thing up with ketchup. So, when I have guests over and they decide to use the bathroom, they'll see this bottle and have a moment of cognitive dissonance. This soap bottle in the bathroom is labeled ketchup, so surely it must dispense soap instead of ketchup. Despite the label saying ketchup, right? And then let them have a moment of realization, followed by abject horror as they pump vicious, vicious, viscous ketchup all over their hands instead of soap. I need it. A single man once booked every other seat in a cinema to split up couples on Valentine's Day. Well, I'm sure that if they show up and realize the theater's mostly empty, they're not gonna care. They're just gonna sit where they want. My ex works in a pharmacy, so whenever I want to spoil her mood, I'll just go there and buy a condom for no reason. Sometimes I go three times a day. My neighbor told me coyotes keep eating his outdoor cats, so I asked how many cats he has, and he said he just goes to the shelter and gets a new cat afterwards. So I said it sounds like he's just feeding shelter cats to coyotes, and then his daughter started crying. Today's Wi-Fi password can be unlocked by texting a photo of a clean kitchen to mom. Said photograph must contain one box of crackers on the counter oh, by the stove to prove. Oh, I see. Not reusing any photos. Thank you for playing. May the odds be ever in your favor. Love, mom. Not bad, mom. Well played. Well played. Today I was so bored. I saw an ant in my kitchen, and I placed a few sugar cubes in front of her. She had some, and went to tell her friends. And I quickly hid the sugar cubes because I wanted them to think she's a liar. Oh, I see. Polymer balls that are invisible in water. Imagine putting like 10 in, so <laughs> in someone's bath, and they get in and they just start freaking out because there's something touching me, but there's nothing in the water. What the hell? You're not thinking big enough. Make them in the shape of people with l huge long fingers and hide one in every swimming pool in America. We gotta chill though, guys. Replace a semicolon with a Greek question mark in your friend's JavaScript and watch them pull their hair out over the syntax error. Feel like coders are all evil. My conspiracy theory is that there's no such thing as witness protection. When the government erases your identity, they just f kill you. It's cheaper, easier, and when people are like, no, seriously, where are they? They can be like, I know, right? How good are we? Loving the idea of someone in witness protection scrolling through Twitter, seeing this tweet, and being angry because they know I'm wrong, but they can't say it. I make cupcakes out of soap. Everything in them is soap, even the sprinkles. Oh, you suck. I'm going to make a new font called Times New Bastard. It's Times New Roman, but every seventh letter is jarringly sans serif. Oh, no. With one line, you've activated every bone in my body and all of them are in attack mode. Your skeleton has been turned on. After much thought and consideration, I've come to the scientific conclusion that we should use light show drones to scare the shit out of uncontacted tribes. That image is fake. Uh, people always said that it was in celebration of Dia de los Muertos, but that's Mount F Fuji in the background, so I don't know what this picture is. Although, I do agree. I mean, look, if we're gonna be evil, we may as well be evil, right? Game show idea. Eleven gay men and one straight man are locked in a house. The object for the gay men is to find out who isn't gay. Once a week, someone gets outvoted until two are left, or the straight man is out. If the gays manage to outvote him, they win a million dollars. If the straight man is among the last two people in the house in the end, he wins a million dollars. Now here's the twist. None of them are gay. They all just think they're the one straight man. The neighbor's kids challenged us to a water fight. I'm in. Just waiting for the water to boil. Oh wait, no. Customer came in complaining of hearing a whistle coming from the engine. I was able to diagnose the issue as them having actual friends. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to find a harmonica stat. My niece turned three today. She asked for a Lion King cake, but specifically the moment where Mufasa dies because everyone will be too sad to eat the cake. I'll be free. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just looking at Mufasa, that poor bastard. <laughs> three. Three. I noticed that while I was peeing in a public restroom that some dude was sitting in the stall quietly, as if he was waiting for me to leave. So I went to the door, opened it, let it creak shut, and waited. I heard him sigh in relief and then start shitting very audibly. So I yelled, ha ha, I heard you, and then I left. I then he died in my <laughs> Oh man, finally. <laughs> To have a drink at lunch. Oh, you don't have a classic can opener? Just punch a hole in that <laughs> My seven-year-old just backtalked me. Tomorrow, while he's at school, I'm logging into Minecraft and destroying her fucking village. Don't destroy it. Just plant a 
ton of TNT with a pressure plate around her, so she destroys it when she logs in. Damn, I remember that one. That shit hurts. 